Ciao together. Today we will install GitLab on a Raspberry Pi. Basic hardware we need is a Raspberry Pi 3 and a SD card. Further requirements you will find in the description under the video. Let's get started! First, format your SD card with the SD card formatted tool. Go to Options and set the flag format size adjustment to ON if you wish. This option adjusts the format the capacity calculated by number of cylinders, heads and sectors. You have a full wipe then. Then open the etcher. Select your downloaded image. You can deactivate validate write on success if you wish. Then select your drive and flash it. Now it comes a very important step. Go to your root folder from your Raspberry Pi and create the empty file with the name SSH without the extension. Now start your SSH client and log in with the username Pi and your default password Raspberry. Try to connect. With the first command we configure the global language settings. This should be in English. That way GitLab won't cause any problems later. Next, we disable the swapping. For SD card swapping is counterproductive because it only increases write access to the memory cells. Also, the SD card is too slow for such things. Deactivate conf snap size. Now go to the GitLab repo. You can find the link in the description. Copy the name of the current package to your clipboard. Use the following commands to download the package to the Raspberry Pi. This may take a while. Now install the package with apt-get install.
Now we are going to do some reconfiguration. Use nano to open the GitLab RB config file. Change the parameter external URL to the IP of your Raspberry Pi. This is very important. Next parameter is Unicorn Worker Process. Increase the value by 1. Next is the parameter Sidekick Concurrency. Reduce the value to 10. Activate the parameter Prometheus monitoring and set the value to false. Then finish with Ctrl O and Ctrl X. To make the changes effective, run the reconfigure command. This needs very long. Then make a reboot. Go to the browser and access the web interface via the predefined IP. Give the interface time, it takes quite a long time to build up. And then, voila, it's done. Now we need to do some more configuration. Default password of the standard user Pi must be changed. Update has to be done.
via sudo config we change the host name. Now we do the static IP configuration to finish. With IPR default we get the router endpoint and the current IP address assigned by DHCP. We open with none of the resolve conf file and check if the name server is set correctly. HCPD conf and activate the parameter interface ETH0 and set the parameter static IP address to our Raspberry IP address. Also the parameter static routers now gets the IP of our router. Finally adjust the static domain name server also with the router IP. Thanks for watching and see you next time.